My name is Jesper Mosegård and today I'm going to show you how to use the Elementacular plugin for Autodesk Maya to build uh, this um, magic warp kind of uh, tunnel with some, uh, some lights in it. So uh, I started out with uh, this uh, scene of a couple of standard toruses. Before uh, applying uh, the Elementacular shader I am going to combine the uh, toruses into one object so that we can work uh, with uh, this as a single object and apply the Elementacular shader. We'll find the Elementacular shader in the Hypershade menu. I'll apply it. And please notice that uh, nothing actually appears yet. I need to turn on the Viewport 2.0 rendering, do smooth shading and enable texturing. So this is the default appearance of the Elementacular shader. It doesn't look anything like a warp or a magic tunnel yet, so we'll change some of the parameters. The first uh, parameter I'm going to uh, change is the uh, distance resolution. I'm going to turn this up just to get a narrow field around the uh, toruses. Let's go all the way up to about 120. Also I need to uh, turn up the uh, dilation layer, so the number of layers uh, where we actually uh, dilate out the, um, the smoke. I need to get kind of a grasp on what I'm doing here, so I'm going to introduce some lights into the scene. Uh, just a standard point light. And uh, I'll uh, move it down in the tunnel with the move tool. And uh, I will uh, turn up the intensity somewhat to around 200. And if we look down the tunnel now, we can see that there is actually some light there. And I, I want this magic appearance with uh, different colors of light, so I will create a blue light. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. And I'll create a, 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 another light, a red light. Again, we have our light. I'm going to move it down into the uh, the end of our uh, tunnel, and uh, we'll do a nice red light, and we'll increase the intensity to 200. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so now I can actually see something, but. Um, the Elementacular plugin by default has the uh, tone mapping operator enabled. So I'm going to disable that just to make the colors really uh, kick through because this is a, a non-realistic uh, appearance of a, um, of a magic tunnel. So now I can uh, play around with uh, some of the effects. And uh, one of the things I'd like to have as a basis for, uh, for what I'm doing here is I, I want this uh, very very narrow or very well-defined gradient between each of the toruses. So I will go down and I will experiment with the density falloff and the density scale just to see if I can get a, a, a bit of a narrow, uh, narrow field around it. So density uh, falloff, I think I'm going to turn down a bit. And density scale, I might actually want to turn all the way up just to get uh, some clear view of the lighting. Um, now it's still not really well defined and part of what I'm seeing here is of course the noise field. So let's go down and uh, experiment with the, uh, with the noise, specifically the roughness and the frequency of it. Um, the roughness I'd like to take really really far down, so to 0 0.5. So now we are beginning to see something that's more well defined. And also the, uh, the frequency I will actually, actually take a bit up just to get some additional details into it. So uh, now you can begin to see this uh, more well-defined um, tunnel. But I want to experiment with some of the additional features of uh, the plugin. If you go uh, a bit more down, you can see what's called the wispiness. So wispiness are some additional features, so this fluffy appearance of uh, small-scale features that, that you might see in in clouds uh, or other uh, fluid-like uh, dynamics. So I'm going to experiment with, uh, a bit with this as well. Uh, first of all, I know that uh, I will work with uh, some quite fine details, so I'll turn the resolution up just to capture 
the higher frequencies of the wispiness. By default, there is already some wispiness in this. Um, so roughness, I'm going to turn a bit down. So I, I, I want something that's not as evident. Uh, nothing really happens here. So let's, uh, let's play with the frequency uh, first. We want the frequency just a bit down so that we can actually see the fluffy, uh, the fluffy appearances here. Like uh, this. Now I can play around with uh, roughness. And as you can see, I can make it really smooth. Or I can turn it up just to get the right amount or the right uh, amplitude into the wispiness of it. And uh, this is one way of doing a uh, magic tunnel. I can, of course, press the uh, rendering button to get the final appearance. Remember to uh, enable the Maya Hardware 2.0 rendering corresponding to Viewport 2.0 rendering. And now you have this uh, really nice magic tunnel where you can warp through. So I'm looking forward to see what you guys could, uh, could do. And uh, please visit us at elementacular.com.